Be focus. This time, let's feel China's development pulse. This June the 25th marks the 33rd National Land Day. It is crucial to protect our land, especially our arable land, as they provide food for over 1.4 billion Chinese people. Recently, I heard that we shall not only protect our arable land on the ground, but also find ways from the sky. What does that mean? Protect the land from the sky? Today, let's check out the answer together. It is crucial to prevent arable land from being used for non-agricultural or non-food purposes. One effective way to monitor land use is through a bird's eye view with the satellite technology. Human pet holes, so the monitoring starts quite random, so passive discovery and also uh, non-quantitative. Uh, for, for the satellite. We can change this conventional to the very much intelligent way. Dr. Guo informed me that satellites can detect changes within one square meter, so local authorities can take positive actions to prevent the misuse of arable land, even within such a small area. We also can observe the land through the space, and also can use the UAV. And we combine with the sensor on the ground ITO. So we monitoring the crop from the space, sky, and ground. Mm -hmm. So seamlessly, we definitely find we can report to authorities mm -hmm. to help the monitoring the, the what they call these issues. Mm -hmm. Empowered by the satellite technologies, local officials can pinpoint land protection issues more efficiently for their execution. Since 2021, China has implemented a policy of assigning field leaders throughout the country. The chief officials of the municipal, district, and township governments serve as first, second, and third-level fuel leaders, respectively, to protect permanent basic arable land in their jurisdiction. Xu Yingfeng is now a fuel leader for his village. A team of five members works together to form a responsible network for the entire village, operating under the one network, two field leader scheme. When an abandoned pit was discovered in the northern region of our village, we promptly reported the situation to our designated field leader. Following our hard work, the area has now been transformed into arable land and is now utilized as an agritainment yard. Science monitoring, meeting regularly with local villagers and farmers to inform them about policies for arable land protection and development, is also one of the responsibilities of field leaders. This helps prevent non-agricultural and non-food cultivation activities from happening at the very beginning.